A friend of mine once said that if James Bond knew how to ballroom dance, he would know the Foxtrot. Now, whether you're trying to be a secret agent or just learn some basic moves for a social function or maybe brush up before your next ballroom dance class, we're gonna show you our seven favorite Foxtrot moves for beginners. Hi, my name is Brian B. I'm Miss Megan. From socialdanceonline.com, and we're here to help you build confidence so you can look great in the dance floor and dance your way through life. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to dance Foxtrot and really impress people with your moves. Make sure you stay to the end because we're gonna put everything to music for you in a routine format to make it really easy. Here's what we're gonna learn. First, we're gonna learn the basic. The base talk, basic of Foxtrot is super easy. Next, we're gonna learn the promenade. If you wanna look cool, you have to know the promenade. To look even more impressive, we're gonna teach you the promenade with an underarm turn. Now you're gonna need to navigate around the dance floor and that's where the left rock turn comes in. Next up is the sway. The sway is a classic dance move, so we're gonna make sure it's in your repertoire. Now learning the zigzag is gonna let you really know like you look like you know what you're doing. And finally, depending upon where you're dancing, you might wanna really impress people, so we're gonna teach you how to dip your lady. All right, let's get started with the basic footwork. Foxtrot basic is super easy. We're gonna do this sideways to the camera. So leaders are always gonna start with their left foot, followers or ladies are gonna start with their right. We're gonna have two walking steps forward for the leaders, two walking steps back for the followers as we count this slow, slow. Then we're gonna step to the side for quick, quick. That's gonna leave my left foot free. So let's practice that again. So for the leaders, we go forward, forward, side, together, and making sure we change weight, leaving that left foot free to go again. Megan's gonna narrate the followers' footwork. Followers, you're starting on your right foot going back. We have back, back, side, together. If we did that again, we're gonna count in quicks and slows. We have slow, slow, quick, quick. And just some basics now so we don't have to cover them later. Typically when I'm walking forward in ballroom dancing and I'm stepping underneath my partner's legs, I'm gonna be walking on a heel lead. So I'm rolling through my foot from the heel to the toe. And this doesn't have to be super extreme, but I'm brushing my foot, I'm rolling through just like I would be walking. Now when I step to the side, we're gonna step on the ball of the foot and then the ball flat. So if we did that again, heel, heel, ball, ball, flat. And if we do this going the other direction so you can see, we have heel, heel, ball, ball, flat. And if Megan narrates for hers. We are all toes. So we are toe, 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 heel. So now we have to partner up. So our basic ballroom hold looks like this, ESPN 360 cam. Some of the important things, I'm gonna narrate this uh, facing you. Some of the important things, we're always offset to one another. So I'm looking over Megan's right shoulder, she's looking over my right shoulder. We're never gonna be eye to eye, nose to nose. This arm is gonna go up, we call this a frame. And if I put myself this way, I wanna imagine if Megan was shaped like a box, half of my hand is around one side of the box, half is around the other. So I'm gonna leave my right elbow out. Megan's gonna put that arm on me. Around the leader's bicep. Followers, you go, are going to want to lay your arm down on the leaders, but not lean. Yep, so I can remove my arm. There we go. On the other side, this is what I call towel on the towel bar. So this is my towel bar, and this is the towel. This is gonna go at the eye height of your lady. So if you're particularly tall, or short, this is gonna stay at the eye height of Miss Megan. So now with my frame, we're slightly offset. We're gonna walk slow, slow, quick, quick, and slow, slow, quick, quick. If we turn around and do it the other way, we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. The only thing you need to be worried about is stepping on each other's feet, but guess what? this offset is gonna do it for you. So if I'm standing in front of Megan, you can see her foot's right in front of mine, but if I'm slightly offset, this foot is tracking just on the outside of her foot, and this one's going just on the inside of that. So you can just practice walking forward and back in this configuration, and that will set you up as we get into our next cool move, the promenade. All right, gang, move number two is the promenade basic. So what's gonna happen when we're dancing basic foxtrot is as we're dancing our basic, this is great, it's an easy, simple step, but inevitably I'm gonna run out of room and I'm gonna need to go alongside the wall and I'm gonna use my promenade basic to do that. So let's do it from this direction. If we did a basic first, we'd have slow, slow, quick, quick. Now let's say we need to turn a little bit, we're gonna use our promenade. So in promenade, our nose and toes 
go the direction we're gonna travel, but my shoulders and frame face my partner, and we walk forward, forward, side together. Let's do that one more time. Same thing we did in the basic, we're walking on a heel lead, we move our nose and toes to the direction, we walk heel, heel, ball, ball flat. And if Megan narrates that for us. Followers, we're rotating the same as the leaders, our shoulders stay up with them. We are gonna go forward, forward, side together. If we did that one more time, we're rotated. We have heel, heel, ball, ball flat. So this is simple. Now, the keys that we learned before in our basic frame, ESPN 360 cam, I'm always over Megan's shoulder. This is gonna be the same when we dance our basic or our promenade. We're gonna show you from a couple different directions. We're gonna dance one basic first, slow, slow, quick, quick. Now from here, Megan's still in her window. We're gonna turn our nose and toes to the direction we wanna go. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Let's look at that from another direction. And then we'll talk about exactly what you do as the leader to communicate this to your follower. So we walk forward, forward, side together. Now from here, there's a little shift in my, the pressure of my hands that tells Megan, I'm gonna exaggerate this, I'm doing this, but you're not seeing that. It's just the pressure in my hands, just enough to get her to turn. I don't actually wanna turn our shoulders. This is a bad beginner mistake. We don't wanna look that way. So if we did our basic first, we have slow, slow, quick, quick with a little shift, slow, slow, quick, quick. And here's a pro tip, this is a little high level tip. You wanna be in a position before you move in a position. What I mean by that is, I wanna be in my closed position before I move in my closed position. I want to be in my promenade position before I move in my promenade position. So that's step number two. The third step is vital, vital, vital. If you only have time to learn three steps, the next step up is the other one you need to learn. All right, gang, we're in pattern number three. So far, we've got the basic, we've got the promenade. The other move you're gonna wanna know is the rock turn, but we're gonna cover that next. That's gonna be important. What we're gonna do now is the promenade with an underarm turn. This is the impressive one for your friends. So we've done our basic, basic side together. We've done our promenade side together. Now we're gonna do our promenade with an underarm turn side together. So let's look at the footwork of that. It's gonna be a promenade footwork for the leader. So our nose and toes go this direction. Leader's footwork is slow, slow, quick, quick. Nothing changes for you leaders, just what we do with the hand. We're gonna cover that in just a second. So for the followers. Followers, we are going to turn right away. So we are in our promenade position. We are still going to step forward. So we have forward, we're gonna turn back and then go side together. Let's do that again. We're in our promenade position. We have forward turning back, side together. So to lead this leaders, we covered this a little bit when we talked about the promenade, that little pressure between the hands, right? If we did a basic first, basic, basic, side together, we're starting that little pressure change for the follower to get her to promenade posi position. There's two things I'm gonna do to lead this. I'm gonna turn around so you can see this. I am going to start to release this hand to where my fingers are just touching her fingers, right? Because if I'm in a closed hold, that means she's not moving. Whether we're doing a basic or we're doing a promenade, this closed hand means there's no turn coming. So I'm gonna signal to her, I'm gonna do this facing you. We've turned to our promenade position. I get the hand ready right away. So now as I step underneath, slow, slow, quick, quick. There's a couple things going on here. Let's talk about this left hand first. So if I just did the left hand, I got the fingers ready. I'm stepping and I'm creating a halo around her head. Let's do that one more time. We have slow, slow, quick, quick. Now for the followers, you wanna make sure, before we talk about this hand, this is gonna be important too. Followers, you wanna make sure to step forward, then back, then side together. So all the steps are going that direction. Now leaders, I'm gonna turn around and show you what I do with the other hand. There's two types of connection, three really, that you're gonna have in ballroom dancing. This is one, this is the other, and as you get a little bit better, we have this diaphragm contact, we don't need to mess with that. Now, these two connections, the one that's the most important is the one that's on her body. So as I lead this, I'm gonna lead the left hand around, but I'm guiding her through with the right. So I want you to pay attention to this right hand as the leader. I got my fingers ready with my left hand, I'm guiding her through quick, quick. 
All right, guys, uh, pro tip on how you're gonna lead this effectively. What I like to do is, as I'm dancing along, I have my basic, I wanna lead preferably one promenade turn to get her used to it before I do another one, and then typically even a third promenade before I go into what we're gonna do next, which is called the rock turn. All right, gang, this is your fourth step. It's called the rock turn. It's one of the, the vital pieces to being able to dance around the floor. So the rock turn, let's demonstrate the rock turn and then we'll talk about how it's gonna be used. The rock turn is rock turn quick, quick. So it's a left rock turn. Here's why this is important. We'll break down the footwork. As I'm dancing along, I'm doing my basic, right? I'm gonna run out of room. I'm gonna do my promenade and eventually I'm gonna run out of room and I'm gonna need to turn to go a different direction. The rock turn is what lets me turn to go another direction. So let's talk about the footwork. I'm gonna do this with my back to the camera. So leaders, I'm rocking forward on my left foot. I'm gonna rock back at a diagonal on my right foot and step side together. I'm gonna aim for a quarter turn. There's no rule that says it has to be a quarter turn, but I'm gonna aim for a quarter turn. I rock forward, I rock back, side together. So imagine, we're gonna do this sideways to you. I wanna imagine my feet are like a rocking chair as I rock through that. If we do it one more time, I rock forward and back and side together. Now for the followers. Followers, we are going to rock back first with our right foot, so we rock back. As we rock forward, we are gonna rock forward on an angle and then side together. If we did that again, we have back, rocking forward, side together or slow, slow, quick, quick. So this is very easy to lead and I'm gonna do this sideways to the camera. Megan's used to going backwards. She's gonna go in the direction I'm telling her. So I'm telling her to go that direction. I'm gonna stop her. I'm gonna stop her in two ways. Number one, I'm not gonna take all of my weight past that foot like I would if I was taking a second step. I'm gonna rock onto that foot and keep a little weight back. Now from here I have my frame I'm gonna take her with me. If I take her with me, I don't mean physically pull her, but because I'm attached to her and I'm moving back, she's only got one choice but to come with me. So if we look at that, we're gonna do it three times in a row. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. So as also you can see, Megan is still in her window. So as I'm doing this, she's got an Amazon sale going on over my, shoulder and she stays in that window. Any tips for the followers, Miss Megan? Oh, uh, well, that would have been the tip. Make sure you stay in your window. Uh, pay attention to the connection on your back. If the leader wants to do a basic, they will let it keep going. If they are doing a rock turn, they are going to end up stopping you before you can actually take that next step and leading you the other direction. And that staying in your window will help you make that turn. So next up, we're gonna talk about another classic step called the sway step. Okay, so when I was at my first high school dance, I only had the sway step. We're gonna make this sway step a little bit more official for your foxtrot. It's gonna look like this. A slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. So let's talk about the footwork, my back to the camera. So this is moving to my left. For slow, I'm gonna drag that right foot in. I'm gonna sway the other way slow, and then I'm gonna step side together for quick, quick. Let's do it one more time. Sway, sway, quick, quick. Followers footwork. Followers, we're doing the exact opposite. Right foot moves to the side first. We have side, side, side together, and side, side, side together. So to lead this, pretty simple. I'm gonna do this this way. Actually, we'll do it back to the camera. So what I wanna do is in promenade, remember my nose and toes are going that direction. This one I'm not. I'm staying in my closed position where I'm facing my partner. My nose and toes are facing that way. As I'm dancing, I'm creating a little bit of this shape with my knees and my joints. That tells Megan we're not going all the way over there. We sway back, quick, quick. So if we do it with our full frame, slow, slow, quick, quick. I'm gonna do it face this way. If you can imagine, leaders, I'm creating this shape underneath with my frame, right? Rather than this shape where we're driving down the floor for our promenade, I'm creating this kind of a shape with my frame. Now I'm not doing it physically with my arms. I'm actually just connected through my arms to my partner. I'm using my own body underneath to create that shape. The sway, sway, quick, quick. 
All right, gang, we got two steps left. This one is called the zigzag. This is gonna let us, again, maneuver around the floor with a little bit more precision. So the zigzag, we're gonna do it two different directions, looks like this. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. So if we do it face the other direction, we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. So let's talk leaders and followers footwork and then we'll talk a couple of specifics of how you'll be able to dance it. So we're moving literally at a diagonal. It's zigzagging down the floor. I'm stepping forward, forward. Now at a different angle, I'm gonna step side together. So you can imagine that that's almost about a 90 degree uh, uh, turn from where I was. If I did that again, I'm moving at a diagonal. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Now I'm gonna move back at a diagonal for slow, slow, quick, quick. We'll do that one more time. We'll have Megan narrate the followers footwork. All right, followers, you're going back on a diagonal. We have back, back. As we go side together, we are changing that diagonal. And then we have forward, forward, side together, going back to the original angle. So with our partner, whichever direction we're facing, we're gonna talk about how we line this up. I'm going slow, slow. Now I have to take a pretty big size step out to the side, quick, quick. Now I step back for slow, slow. Leaders, I have to take a small step to the side and the followers take a bigger step. If we look at it the other way, we have slow, slow, I go past, slow, slow, she goes past. So you wanna imagine someone's on the outside of turn. What I mean by outside of turn is Megan's on the outside of turn. She's got a longer way to go. So on the first one, it's the leaders that go. Slow, slow, I have to go past. Now slow, slow, she has to go past. The key for me as the leader is that I have to know when I need to go with the big steps and when I need to go with the small steps. What I mean by that is, if I go slow, slow, I'm gonna take the big step here. Now I can mess this part up because if I dance slow, slow and I forget and I take the big step, I'm gonna leave my partner behind. So I need to take the small steps on the second one. So slow, slow, I go, slow, slow, she goes. Now, what do the followers have to think about, Miss Megan? Uh, mainly staying connected and in your window. You also have to think about going small on this first side, but slow, slow as you go, quick, quick. If you stay connected and you stay in your window, that should keep you rather small here. Then we have slow, slow, quick, quick, and you'll take appropriate size steps, again, if you stay in your window. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. So the last thing we have to know before we get to the dip, which is gonna be the cool last move that's gonna make you look awesome, is a little bit of the alignments with our footwork. And this is where we're gonna to start to put things together a little bit. And at the end of the video, we have an entire routine where it puts it all together for you. So as I'm doing, let's say my basic, right? I wanna actually start to create an angle on the end of that basic. So if I'm faced this way during my basic, slow, slow, I'm gonna create a little bit of an angle and go small to create this angle for the zigzag. Now I'm gonna move it this direction, quick, quick. Now I'm moving this direction, slow, slow, quick, quick. So there is no rule, but keep that in mind. Next up, we're gonna show you the dip. We're gonna use it coming out of this zigzag. So at the end of the video, you can put it all together in a routine and be dancing by tonight. All right, gang, next up is the dip. It's a great way to finish your dance. We've taught this to thousands of couples, wedding couples and ballroom couples all around the world. Very easy to do. We're gonna do it stepping backwards. There's two different ways to do this, but let's talk about the mechanics of the dip. First thing I have to do is switch this hand. We call this baby steps. We're gonna switch this hand underneath to my hands underneath. Now I'm gonna draw a circle. We call this baby steps. So Megan's gonna take baby steps. We're gonna turn her in. So just practice that. That's the first thing we need to do, right? Take this hand from our basic hold, swing it underneath, turn it between our heads, between our heads, between our heads. That's the first step. Second step is going to be connecting this hand to Megan. So I'm gonna drop this underneath, pull it in between, and the second I can see her spine, I wanna put my fingers in the middle of her spine. I wanna jab her, but what that's gonna do is, it's gonna allow her to roll in. Now the followers have a job here, and Megan's gonna talk about what that job is with this left arm. As the leader starts to turn you, you are going to keep your arm around chest height and let it just sneak over top that arm. You are not going to use your hand and you're not going to go up with the elbow. 
You're just gonna sneak that over. So we get the hand ready, turn, 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 turn. I pick up her back, boom, there's our dip position. So those are the mechanics of the hand. Now what has to happen? We're gonna put the footwork last. We're gonna do this, we're gonna turn, 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 turn. I'm gonna collect her. I'm gonna put this hand, there's a couple different ways we could do it. I can put it over my shoulder. I can put it in my pocket, like my back pocket. That's the one I prefer. Now I'm gonna take this hand and collect Megan really nicely. The key now is that my left foot is free, so at this point I'm gonna to step to the side. So let's do this on the other side. Mechanics, we're gonna get to the footwork in a second. Turn, 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 turn. I pick up her back. She sneaks the elbow over. I put her hand either in my pocket or over my shoulder, whatever your preference is. I like the pocket. The key here is my left foot is now free, so I'm gonna step to the side to create a platform for Megan to land on. I'm gonna step to the side. Now I'm gonna do this one more angle because there's a, another pro tip. We've taught this to thousands of people, literally thousands of people. We get the hand ready, we turn, 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 pick up her back, she sneaks the arm over, my left foot's free. I'm gonna step to my left, I'm also gonna step diagonally behind Megan. The reason why is if I step this way, I'm creating a platform that even if everything goes wrong, she's got a place to settle onto. Cool? Now, Ms. Megan, will you talk about the footwork for the followers? Footwork. Not the footwork, but the position. Position for the followers. Followers, as you're turning through this and the leader catches you, you want to be closer to the uh, right foot of the leader. And as they move on to their other foot, they're going to take you back onto your right foot and into the dip. Cool, so there's two different ways we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it from the zigzag. So I'm moving backwards. So leaders, I'm gonna move back, back, side together, collecting Megan, my left foot's free, and I'm gonna step diagonally in this direction behind her. Let's look at it from the other direction. So we're stepping back, leaders. We're gonna step back, back, side together. Notice I'm leaving her in her window. My left foot's free. I collect her. I might even collect her to me with my right hand. Step my left foot. Once she's collected, then I do this. So after teaching this to a lot of followers, there's a couple things that go wrong. Those of you guys who have an athletic background tend to dump into this and just jump into it. So don't do that. Make sure that the leader takes you through. If we do this this way, slow, slow, quick, quick. You wait all of that time, collect, and then we can go. The other place you can get to this from is from a promenade position. We're gonna do this two different directions. If we're dancing our promenade, slow, slow, quick, quick, I can dance slow, slow, quick, quick, leave my left foot free, and take her in. Let's look at that the other direction. We're dancing our promenade, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, wait, 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 collect her, and there's the dip. I hope you had a lot of fun learning your Foxtrot basics. Now let's learn it in a routine. All right, gang, Megan and I are gonna put this in a routine format for you next, but let's just talk a quick navigation around the dance floor. Typically, I have some sort of a dance floor, however big or small this is, and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna need patterns to dance along this side, I'm gonna need patterns to dance along this side, and along this side, and along this side. So this is the direction counterclockwise that we would typically dance our ballroom dance patterns. So Megan and I are gonna talk about how we can put those patterns together in a routine format to let you navigate around a floor, even if it's a small one. All right, before we do this to music, let's talk about how we put these patterns together. So I'm moving along what we would call the short line of the floor, and I can just dance my basic until I run out of room. Now I've got a couple of options here. The first one we're gonna use is our promenade. I'm gonna dance my promenade and then my promenade with an underarm turn. Now when I run out of room again, I can't do a basic, and I've run out of room, I can't do a promenade. This is where I'd use the rock turn. Quick, quick. Now I'm on this angle, so now I can do anything promenade-wise that moves down this floor. In this case, we're gonna do the sway step. Sway, sway, quick, quick. Now from here, we're gonna use some zigzags. Slow, slow, quick, quick, and we can zigzag around, and now we wanna finish up with our dip. I'm gonna step back, back, side together into my dip. Now let's look at it to music.
All right, what do the numbers 7, 10, and 1044 have to do with dancing? Well, seven steps that you need to know for waltz is this video right here. Check that out. 10 was my lucky number because I wore it when I was 10 years old playing baseball. And 1044 are how many videos we currently have on our website. So if you're interested in learning any of the ballroom swing, country dance styles, we have them over there. Everything is leveled out. Uh, level by level, beginner, beginner, intermediate, so you know exactly what to learn next, and you can try it for 14 days free right around here.